this is how we start with a white piece of cotton material. We trace the design on first in pencil from an artist's drawing. We then apply a mixture of hot bees and powerful wax onto the areas we want to stay white. To apply the wax to the fine areas with a tool like this, it is called a janting tool or a wax pen for wider areas with a normal paintbrush. Having waxed the areas you want to stay white, we take it off the frame, dip in a cold water, color fast dye. This piece has been dipped into the dye. The white areas is where you wax first, the wax is still on. And we want to keep some of this color, we then apply more wax. We continue waxing and dyeing until we have all the colors. If we need five colors, we'll wax it and dye it five times. After having the five colors, we'll boil it for 30 minutes. The wax will flow, we skip it off. Most of it can be recycled. Each piece of item you see here is individually done. You're never gonna find two pieces exactly the same. They can be washed by hand or by machine. They will never shrink. They can be iron. You can throw them in the dryer to be dry. This is our masterpiece. Nine days work that is. That piece went for all the different steps on the wall here. From trace all the way across the final product. The more colors, the longer it takes. And to turn genuine batik, you can take it, you reverse. If it's not reversible, it's not too batik. Same on both sides. Then the right or one side. That is the